Today's ace tanker game comes courtesy of the 5916, a tier 6 Chinese light tank that is often underrated and underestimated. It is one of the least popular light tanks, and you don't see them very often in random battles. The 5916 has the second best camo value in tier 6, just slightly behind the AMX-12T, and you must use this to your advantage. Also you might notice, I play the 5916 with the first gun, a 57mm with a standard AP penetration of 112 and APCR penetration of 189, which is way better than the autoloader, with 85 pen on AP and 105 on APCR. The autoloader is more suited to clan wars and strongholds. I take the early position in the usual spotting bush, making sure my turret is pointing to where I expect the enemy light tank to be. The T-37 is now spotted, I will take a few shots and aggress, as my position is now compromised, and I cannot be caught in a crossfire position. The 5916 has no HP and cannot afford to take any kind of damage. It's now time to go to my secondary scouting position, in the Magic Forest, looking down line 8 and 9. My objective here, is just to have a look at what's coming at us. I use my superior camo to conceal my position, just sitting quietly and waiting. A tiger shows up, and it looks like he will be using the houses to protect himself. I will now reposition my tank, to take shots at him when he pops out. This is quite a risky move, I must try to use the terrain to keep hold down. I will only expose very little of my turret when I take shots at the tiger, and I will use the mobility to safely duck in and out. My first shot does no damage, and my second shot, I attempt to keep him tracked. The 85 pen does nothing to the front of the tiger, so I'll have to switch out to my APCR. You'll notice my loadout is about 50-50, this is because you are gonna need the extra pen when you face the frontal armor of heavy tanks. Remember, in a 59-16, your advantage is camo and mobility, so use that to your best ability when you are in combat. I see an opportunity to track the Firefly, so I focus on that. I miss the first and connect on the second, fortunately for him, he repairs and gets to safety. The Tiger foolishly makes a break for it, trying to rush our flank. I take some shots, carefully keeping an eye out on the Firefly, that might shoot me if I were to extend myself too far. From my position, I can still duck back into safety, and I can shoot that firefly if he chooses to follow the tiger. It's important to not be greedy, if I chase that tiger down, I would have been shot by the firefly and possibly killed. Instead, choose safety first, especially in the early game. We may need our HP for the late game, when we may be called upon to take some damage for the team, to secure a vital kill. Now that the tiger is disposed of, we turn our attention towards the firefly. Behind us is AT-25 who can support us. As it turns out, the T-25 does manage to put in a good hit, leaving us to polish it off. Now it's time to turn our attention to the middle, where a KV-1 seems to be advancing towards our base. As I reposition myself to try and find a shot on the KV-1, I notice that the Tiger P is exposing his sides to me. I waste no time and take some shots and try to secure the kill. Now I scan around, and it looks like the KV-1 is taken care of. There is also an ISU-122S that is possibly facing the other direction. I could potentially sneak up behind it, and kill him with zero risk to myself.
I'm gonna bomb the shit out of them. Now it's time to handle the Cromwell that's managed to make it to our base. Tomorrow. He's dead, so now I look at the map and see our Firefly on his own. I need to catch up to him fast, not because I can support him, as he will likely be killed for wandering off so far ahead of the team, but because he will likely spot the positions of the enemy that will probably kill him. Later. There, he's spotted the enemy, at least now I know where the Emil is. The Firefly will die needlessly, but we will try to make the most of his death. Okay, if you paid any attention to the map, you would have noticed that the Firefly was spotted by the Emil at G3. This means that there is possibly no one at the J and K line. With clever deduction, I can take a guess that the rest of the enemy are probably behind the Emil on the 1-2 line. I take my time to sort it out in my head, then commit towards spotting them. Eventually... Remember what I said about the 5916 being the second best camo in tier 6? Now all I have to do is wait for my platoon mate to snipe from around the corner. If they become unspotted, I just have to pop up to the bush and light them up again. One down, two to go. I decide to go for the kill, as there is no more imminent threat. But back off from the bush, just to be on the safe side. I spot the Emil running, so I will give chase. There is very little risk for me when I catch up to him. The Emil will have very little time to react, and will not be able to outmaneuver the 5916. She said he's a pussy.